Good morning and welcome to Williams TV here ahead of the Russian Grand Prix. And I'm here with the only Russian on the grid this weekend. Uh, Sergey, are you looking forward to your home race? There's been massive support for you this weekend, hasn't it? It was, yeah. I mean, it was impressive, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it would be too simple if I would say that I'm looking forward. I mean, obviously I'm looking forward, but it's, uh, it's much more than just an exciting race. It's... Uh, you know, again, the amount of attention, the amount of the positive energies, you know, uh, I'm getting from all the people, all the fans, is, it's absolutely incredible. So it's, it's going to be a very, very special race. I'm really looking forward to it. But why don't you tell people at home, you know, from an emotional standpoint, are you an emotional guy? Do you, do you, do you think when you stand on the grid and they'll play, obviously, the Russian national anthem that ahead of the race? Like a, that yeah. will be a very, very special moment in my life, I think. Very special. No, one and have you got your family here this weekend? Friends? What have you, who have you got here? Yeah, I have quite many. Obviously, my close family and many other friends uh, all around uh, the track, on the grandstands as well. So, I mean, it's been uh, it's been many many people. And I mean, is Sochi a place that you used to come to when you were a kid? Have you been here before? And yeah, a lot, a lot. Again, uh, I started my actually my first ever kart race been here. Oh wow! Uh, afterwards, it's been. Uh, as a small south city in Russia, a lot of the winter testing we were doing in karting in my early, early part of the career has been here as well. So I'm very, very close to this place. Unfortunately, you know, F1 weekend is so busy and you can hardly find any time to go somewhere and, uh, uh, you know, and see the places you, I spent so much time when I was a kid, uh, which I obviously miss a lot now. But I mean, uh, yeah, no, I, I did spend many, many. Uh, many, many days here, many, many weeks here in this place. Cool. And for the race itself, you're starting 13th on the grid. Um, Good slot. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, the top 10 is obviously starting with the Hypers, which is not the, the best race tires we know. So I think we're in such an uh, open position that... Uh, <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we'll be able to race well, I think. Uh, I mean, of course, I'll say that we're up there for the points. It's probably a bit too optimistic, but at least we're up there to give a fight for the points. And uh, it's going to be a racy race, if you can call it this way. And uh, again, that's why I'm looking forward to it so much. Okay, listen, all the very best and enjoy Thank your you. home race. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to grab that from you and we'll walk around and uh, go and grab Lance, who is talking to Robert, who's going to run away from us because he has an allergy to being on Facebook Live on Sundays. Yes? We were in a very important meeting now. Yeah, you look really busy, really. Go talk to Alex somewhere else. <laughs> um, morning, how are you doing? Are you, um, are you, so you're 15th on the grid. Um, you'll have choice of tire and a few other bits and pieces that could help at the early stages. Are you looking forward to the race? Yeah, well, uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, I don't think the, the choice of tires really makes a difference for us looking at our pace compared to the guys that are starting on the Hypersoft. That's you know, kind of irrelevant whether we start on a, on a Hypersoft or a, or the Ultra Soft to take it, you know, to take advantage of that. But um, yeah, well, we'll see. What we can do so long run down to turn one here, so uh, plenty of opportunity at the start, and then uh, yeah, we'll see where that goes. Have you been watching the you know the F2 and the GP3 this morning? Do you see in the opening lap half the yeah. field seems to just drive around turn two? I yeah. mean, is there stuff that you learn from that thinking? Hmm, maybe that's what I can get away with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we've seen it here before, but um, every start's different, so you can never really, um, you know, take 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 uh, take it too seriously. I think it's it's good to see uh, a few things, but um, you know, generally, like I said, yeah, every every start is different. So uh, we'll see. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll see uh, today where 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 um, it's best to position my car going into to the first corner, and then um, yeah, we'll go from there. I mean, Alex, can I ask you, Well, because you now design racetracks, yes. you've, but you raced in an era where we had grass and gravel everywhere. Yes, beautiful. It's a little bit of a joke, isn't it? When, like, did you see the GP3 this morning? Well, half the grid was in the runoff area. No, I'm absolutely with you. We discussed it in private, but yeah, yeah. you know, asphalt runoff areas and some straight ons is quite good to avoid cars rolling like we've seen with Fernando Alonso in... Uh, Albert Park, yeah. when he dug into the gravel with a, a straight-on issue. But once the corner has started, there is no more need for asphalt runoff areas yeah. on 80%. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, we have no consequences for driver of a mistake. 
and uh, that's actually what we old school racers yeah, yeah. prefer to have, uh, but also the fans, to be honest. Yeah. I'll leave you to carry on with your very important meeting, Robert. Thank you. All right. We're going to wander on upstairs. Um, Claire Williams is in her office upstairs, um, and we shall see. So it's, it's quite overcast this morning. Rob, I'm going to let you go up ahead and give you a challenge to walk backwards. But it's quite overcast this morning. Uh, we've got a 40% risk of rain, actually, ahead of the race, which is quite unusual here. We've had beautiful weather, sunshine for the last couple of days. It's been actually quite warm during the, the daytime. But... Um, it does seem like today is a little bit different. So I think Claire is in a meeting, but she knows we're coming. Yes, she knows we're coming. You knew I was coming? Okay, good. This is the second meeting I've interrupted. Robert told me I was interrupting his very important conversation with Lance, which seemed to be about Formula 2 people cutting a track anyway. No, I can sit. Do you want to sit? I'll Would sit. you like to sit? Uh, thank there you. Ooh, go. This is my phone. Take the load off. Um, how are you? This is a I'm busy good. weekend for the team, isn't it? Uh, lots so if of you can stay, we haven't finished. I know, I know. <laughs> 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 um, Sorry, Facebook Live. <laughs> busy weekend for the team, isn't it? Home race for one of your drivers and it is, commercial yeah. partners and all sorts. Yeah, going it's on? been quite busy. We've had a lot of Russians around this weekend, rather unexpectedly, of course. <laughs> um, no, it's been good. I think it was a shame yesterday for Sergei to. Um, have the uh, the spinning qualifying it meant you know he was really trying to push he just wanted to deliver for his fans so it was yep. it was a shame for him but yeah, it's been a good weekend all in all yeah we're starting 13th and 15th uh, on the grid he he seems quite buoyant actually ahead of his home race and I think uh, the the sort of sense of occasion seems to be registering a bit more this morning for him well it must be huge right you know um, you know we had Danny Kvyat in the sport but you know this is Sergei's first ever home race and racing in front of you know your home crowd I know for every driver is a really big deal and you know Sergei it's his rookie year it's his first um, race in in Russia and you know, he just wants to do a really good job for all the fans yeah. that have turned up to support him and it's actually nice to see the country get behind him, behind him I mean I was um, heading in the commentary box before free practice yesterday mm. and the PA system was going around the track saying free practice starts in 10 minutes Sergei Sorokin is in the Williams go <laughs> cheer him on and it's actually quite nice that really you know nice. they're, they're really yeah. pushing him along yeah and, uh, but they should shouldn't they you should get behind your, your country man um, when they're going out there and doing what they're doing yeah I know he has done a lot of appearances this weekend he had um, quite a lot of interest from some from the ladies when he did his autograph okay. on Thursday um <laughs> No, I think it's it's lovely, and he should just absorb the moment because you know these moments don't come around very often in your life, do they? And you know it is great for him. Absolutely. Um, what about yourself? Is this? I mean, we're now counting down towards the end of the season, but it never really stops in Formula One, does it? No, I'm tired today. <laughs> I mean, I'm really tired. <laughs> I want to go home and sleep. Are you going home before Japan? I'm going home. I'm not actually doing Japan. Okay. Um, it's one of the very few that I'm not heading to this year because my son's first birthday. Oh, it's a so good excuse. It's a good excuse. I've got to party plan. <laughs> so it's not like I'll be sleeping too much. But um, I've forgotten the question now. Um, how is it going oh, towards the end of the year? Is it and know now, you know, how does it roll into next year? Things are moving forward positive at the moment. I think, you know, we have done a lot of work behind the scenes that, you know, we don't make people aware of, but we've been doing so much work recently to change so many things within the team um, and to change our fortunes. And I've always said that you know, hard work pays off and it does now feel, not, as, not that we can say what's going on, but it does now feel that things are turning a corner. And for me, that's a really good positive momentum. So as much as this time of the year is really tiring for everybody because there's a lot going on, there's a lot of the, you know, the long haul travel, um, but it's actually feeling like it's paying off now. Listen, hopefully it all pays off. Um, I'm going to leave you to it, and we will see you in Japan in a week's time.